the biggest horror Blu-ray update on YouTube ever. Here it is, baby. Dun, dun, dun. So here we go, here is the biggest horror Blu-ray update on YouTube ever. 29 pickups right here. And if you've seen any of these movies, definitely let me know what you think of them as well. Now first off I have The Exorcist. This is the 40th anniversary edition from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. I'm going to do a whole special unboxing video for this one because it's the new 40th anniversary edition. It's got the extended director's cut and original theatrical version. It includes an all new documentary with Father Gallagher documenting the actual exorcism. So that's pretty cool. Blu-ray ultraviolet combo pack. It has three discs and it is a 40 page book in here as well. So look forward to a special unboxing video for this. The Exorcist is obviously a classic. Uh, one of the movies that scared me the most growing up as a kid. Classic Exorcism movie, can't go wrong there. And next up is the Halloween 35th anniversary Digibook edition right here. I'll be honest, I think this is a bit of a disappointment packaging wise. For a 35th anniversary edition, I was expecting lots of new special features. I was expecting just, you know, just a great design. This is like the thinnest Digibook ever. I hate the way that the disc is packaged right there in the back. I don't like the front cover. I mean, I wanted more special features. There's so many more special features they didn't even port over from previous releases. I mean, the Night She Came Home feature, right? It, it's cute, but it, it's not great. Yeah, there's new audio commentary. I haven't had a chance to listen to that yet. But wasn't there audio commentary on previous releases already? So new commentary to replace the old commentary? I just wanted more from this. I know it's uh, it looks better and sounds better. And, you know, it was uh, supervised by cinematographer Dean Cundy, the new transfer, HD transfer. And they actually listed that three times on here on the back. And also, too, another thing is the back. There's no artwork once you peel that off. It's just black. I mean, come on. Put some effort into the packaging. You know, 35th anniversary edition. Step your game up, stars, Anchor Bay. Come on, Anchor Bay, you used to be known for your horror releases. What happened here? I mean, the transfer is great, but besides that, it's a letdown. I mean, the movie's a classic, obviously. Influential slasher, Michael Myers, John Carpenter, Dean Cundy. I mean, everything is great about the movie, but the release needs more love and appreciation for a movie like that, for horror fans. They just expect horror fans to double, triple dip on everything that comes out. It looks like Warner Brothers put in some, uh, at least the packaging looks nice. They, you know, they put in some appreciation for the movie. I appreciate that. And yeah, Warner Brothers puts out amazing digibooks. Thick, rich, you know, lush pages and just lots of information and pictures, behind the scenes photographs. I wanted more of that from this. And expect a, a separate unboxing review for this as well. Halloween 35th anniversary digibook. Next up from Synapse is Street Trash. The special Meltdown Edition. Now, I love the heck out of this movie. It's cheesy, it's trashy. You know, you've got the Viper uh, alcohol that turns people into like sludge, and it's just crazy. It's violent, and it's awesome. This is a cult classic, in my opinion. I just love this one. And some awesome special features in here HD transfer, Meltdown memoirs, the original Street Trash 16mm short film that inspired the movie. Uh, just all kinds of cool stuff on here. Blu ray exclusives, baby. Good job, Synapse. And here is the awesome disc artwork for Street Trash. Love that. And there's some interior artwork as well. I love that, that shot right there. It's a classic scene in this movie. Love it. I mean, honestly, it looks the best Street Trash has ever looked. And, you know, it, it looks great, honestly. I felt the same way about Basket Case. There's certain movies where I was like, how is this going to look on Blu-ray? And it really shines. And this is one of those occasions as well. I think it looks great on Blu-ray. And next up is Hands of the Ripper, also from Synapse. the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. I have not seen this movie. I will be checking it out, so look forward to a, a review of this in the future. This is the Hammer Horror Collection. This looks pretty interesting. I guess it's a Jack the Ripper take. So pretty cool. I'll go ahead and show you the inside on that one. Nice disc artwork. Oh, and there's some interior artwork in here as well. i got to cover up the boobies. But I guess maybe that's another uh, alternate uh, cover right there you can choose from, which I think is pretty cool. I love when companies do that. All kinds of studios are doing that lately. I know Arrow Video used to do it all the time, but it's cool to see other companies and studios doing that too. I appreciate the unique artwork for the discs as well. 
And next up is The Colony, directed by Jeff Renfro, starring Lawrence Fishburne and Bill Paxton. And this is an Ice Age, post-apocalyptic movie. There's cannibals, and you know there's not many people left uh, survivor-wise, and they're holed up in these little colonies, and they're trying to fight to survive, and they get a SOS signal from another colony, so a couple of them go out to see what's going on, and they find out there's cannibals, and they have to fight to survive, and make it through the harsh conditions of not only the elements, but people, crazy people. And I love post-apocalyptic movies. I love... Bill Paxton and Lawrence Fishburne, and I love movies with a snowy setting, so this had a lot going on for me to appreciate. Uh, but I will say I wanted a little bit more from the ending. The ending was a bit disappointing, and I wanted more from it, but overall I think it's definitely worth checking out if you're into post-apocalyptic movies. And The Colony is the first movie to use a decommissioned NORAD facility as well, so that's pretty cool to see the interior of that, which works really well for this movie. And this is from RLJ Entertainment. Very nice glossy slipcover right here. And some special features on the back. Uh, behind the scenes interviews with cast and crew. And next up is Fright Night 2 New Blood Unrated. And this is from 20th Century Fox. It's the Blu-ray DVD Ultraviolet Digital Copy Combo Pack. That's a mouthful. Now this one is a whole different world of Fright Night. Uh, there's homages to the original Fright Night as well as the uh, remake as well. There's a couple of shots there that kind of remind me of the remake. Uh, this one though, it's a completely different world. Evil Ed is still alive. And Evil Ed really was one of the best parts of this movie. Evil Ed and then the lead actress who plays the lead vampire right here, they're the best parts of the movie. Uh, the rest of the actors really didn't do a great job in my opinion. The actor who played Charlie and then the love interest in here really didn't do it for me personally acting wise. I think they could have picked uh, better casting choices for those. Uh, but Evil Ed and then the lead vampire lady right there are fantastic. Basically Charlie, Evil Ed, and a group of high school students go to Romania to study abroad. And while they're there, they find out there's vampires and they have to fight to survive. And there's all kinds of legend and lore of the first vampire. Does, is the first vampire really a female? And you find out all kinds of new information and they're basically trying to figure out who the vampire is and people aren't believing Charlie and it's a pretty basic storyline. Uh, it's not as bad as I was expecting it to be. I thought this movie was going to be a train wreck. Uh, it's not great, but it's about average, I'd say. Slightly above, maybe a hair above average. Uh, not great, but better than I was expecting. And I really want to see Fright Night 2, the original, get a Blu-ray release. I love the heck out of that movie. That was such cheesy, awesome fun. And one thing I will say that's similar about the original Fright Night 2 and this Fright Night 2 is I hated the endings. And they both have lead uh, female vampires. And the way that things happen with them towards the end of the movie, just didn't care for them in either one of the movies, this one or the original. But I uh, really hope the original Fright Night 2 gets a Blu-ray release. It deserves it. And next up is the movie Ticks, which I love the heck out of this movie. Cheesy, awesome, fun, great cast in here. You've got Carlton from uh, Fresh Prince, uh, Alfonso Ribeiro, and you've got uh, Seth Green in here as well. You've got a bunch of other recognizable faces who've been in other movies, and you also have Clint Howard in here as well. This is just a really entertaining horror comedy movie. I highly recommend the heck out of this. It's cheesy, campy fun. This is one of those movies you can put on, uh, hang out with your friends, and have a couple beers too. It's basically Killer Mutant Ticks. There's a scene towards the end that's just awesome with uh, Alfonso Ribeiro's character. I love what happens to him. Basically, the storyline is local marijuana farmers are using these kind of uh, steroids to make the marijuana plants grow bigger and faster, except, you know, the ticks get in there and they get affected and they become giant killer mutant ticks. And it's awesome. Highly recommend ticks. So happy that gets a Blu-ray release. Great job, Olive, on putting this release out. I uh, really appreciate that. I just wish there were special features in here uh, from some of the stars. There's a uh, audio commentary from director Tony Randall and co-star Clint Howard. I want to see Alfonso Ribeiro and Seth Green do some commentary for this movie. Come on, step it up. Robot Chicken, come on. What's, what's Carlton doing now? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Next up is The Horde. This is a Canadian release. I love the heck out of this movie. Great zombie movie. Uh, it's a French film. My only criticism about this movie is the ending. I didn't really care for the ending at all, but the rest of the movie is just awesome. It's fast-paced horror action and just a lot of fun. A great zombie movie. Highly recommend The Horde. And next up is House of Bones. This is a blind buy. I haven't seen it before, but it has Charisma Carpenter in it, and it looked kind of creepy, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And it is supposed to be region-free. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty creepy shot. But I guess it's about a group of ghost hunters. They go to a plantation home and check it out and creepy things start happening and fight to survive. There you go. 
And next up is The Road, and this is uh, about a serial killer, I believe, and it's actually signed by the director, Yam Laranis. Uh, however, he signed it on the Blu-ray case, not the, the cover art. I don't know why people do that. I guess they're not familiar with signing things. Uh, and they also signed on the, the disc right there, but it's in black Sharpie, so it's kind of hard to see as well. Uh, I wish he would have signed on the interior artwork and used like a silver Sharpie. But very happy to get this on Blu-ray and to be able to get it signed by the director. Hoping I'll like it. <laughs> I'll let you know soon. And next up is Curse of Chucky from Universal Home Entertainment. I did a full movie review on Curse of Chucky. You can check it out right here. I loved it. Probably my favorite sequel uh, since Child's Play 2. Love the heck out of this. Uh, everything worked for me. Great atmosphere, great build-up, and I love the ending. And then there's like another ending as well. Wait till after the credits. There's another scene after the credits, a quick shot, and uh, that's really cool. And there's there's an, there's like three different endings for this movie, though. There's the one ending, which I think is cool, and then there's another ending, which eh, I don't really like that. And then there's the after credit shot. So I like two of the three endings. The one ending, I was like, really? What are they going to do with this? Where are they, they going to go with the storyline now for Chucky? but really enjoyed it. And the lead actress in here is actually uh, Fiona Dorff, who is Brad Dorff's daughter. Now, at first I was kind of skeptical about that. Brad Dorff is just coming back, so his daughter will get the role. But she did a fantastic job. Really enjoyed her in here. And I will say, though, the actress who played the sister in the movie looked creepy and unnatural. She looked like a doll herself. It looked like she just had tons of plastic surgery. Her lips were just big pillows. It looked like just filled with collagen. When I kept seeing her face on the screen just close up, I was like, ugh. Just look unnatural. It's just not right. Don't do that to yourself. And there's some good gore scenes in here as well, and lots of build-up and suspense. It kind of felt like an old-school haunted house movie, except it's a serial killer inside a, a Chucky doll right there killing people. But I, I really love the heck out of this. Next up from Scream Factory, they had a sale, uh, $15.99 a piece. For some Blu-rays, I ended up getting They Live. I want to get the poster art for this as well. I love the heck out of this. Great John Carpenter film, Aliens, and it has a, a great message to it as well. Consumerism, again, which kind of reminds me of Romero, old school Romero. And I love the cast in here as well. You've got Roddy Piper, Keith David, Meg Foster. Classic. I love the fight scene in here, too, with uh, Keith David and Roddy Piper. <laughs> great slipcover, too. And one thing I do like about these as well, for the Scream Factory releases, there's the disc is they have reversible artwork, so if you want to do the old school artwork, you can do that. But I just love that artwork so much. I'm going to keep not just the slip cover like that, but the regular Blu-ray case. Fantastic. Uh, it's the Dude Abides. He does great work. Love his art designs. And next up is Stuart Gordon's From Beyond, which is an HP Lovecraft uh, adaptation, which I think this movie is still super underrated. I know that Scream Factory putting it out is going to get it some more notoriety and attention. And this is a sci-fi horror classic, in my opinion. I just love it. Totally creepy. Look at that. And you've got uh, Jeffrey Combs, uh, Barbara Crampton, and Ken Foray in here as well. Great cast. And it does have the cool slip cover as well. But I will say I'm not a huge fan of the new uh, artwork right here. But I wasn't a fan of the old artwork either. But I will say Cryface Designs did a t-shirt for RottenCotton.com. And that design is just killer. That should have been the new commission artwork for From Beyond. Cryface Designs, Rotten Cotton, check them out. Awesome t-shirt for From Beyond. If you're a fan of the movie, you gotta get that shirt. Awesome. But there you go. And it's the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. And if you want, you can put the old school artwork in there. You know, flip it around for the front cover. But I didn't love that cover artwork either, so. Basically, it's about a door that opens up a parallel universe, and the person that opens it kind of goes crazy and kind of consumed by it. And it's got crazy creature effects in here as well. Love it. Next up is Guillermo del Toro's The Orphanage. A uh, great kind of ghost story. Uh, creepy, atmospheric. Definitely love it. Uh, Exit Humanity. This is a Canadian release as well. Uh, D. Walls, Bill Mosley, Stephen McHattie, who I really love Stephen McHattie as an actor. Been around for a long time. I remember watching him in a movie called The Dark. I want to say it's from uh, the late 80s. Love the heck out of that movie. And he was also in Pontypool, which I love. And he's been in a lot of things recently, and he definitely deserves to be in way more movies. And this is narrated by Brian Cox, and did a great job with narration. And Mark Gibson, who uh, played the lead actor, he was fantastic in here. This is a definitely a very slow burn movie. Uh, it's a, basically a Civil War zombie movie. Very dramatically paced, though, which isn't going to be for everybody, but I did enjoy it. And this is another Canadian release as well. Canada's just putting out all kinds of Blu-rays that other places don't have. 
Next up is Sector 7 3D. Nice slip cover. I uh, haven't seen this one. Sci-fi horror uh, movie set in the seas right there. I guess they're in some kind of uh, uh, station right there. And some big creature comes off. I guess it's an offshore rig. And I guess it's in Sector 7. And I, I'm assuming it's a creature feature. I've just seen clips here and there. And it's a Korean movie as well. And I'm looking forward to checking this one out. It's 3D done right. That's what it says on the back. And next up is uh, the UK release for We Are What We Are, which I haven't seen yet. I know they remade it already. Uh, I believe it's a Campbell movie. And looking forward to checking that one out. Next up is Heartless. I haven't seen this one yet either. This is another Canadian release. I've seen clips and trailers for it. And uh, it looks pretty creepy. And uh, I guess there's kind of like shadowy creatures from what I remember from the trailers. And yeah, looks creepy. And next up is Piranha 3 Double D, and this is the 3D Blu-ray, Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy combo pack. <sighs> and I actually prefer Piranha 3 Double D over uh, the first Piranha 3D. Uh, the Piranha 3D was just all right to me. There's try to do too much there. This one just kind of didn't take itself seriously. It was self-aware. It was a lot of fun. It's cheesy. It's campy. It's over the top. It's awesome. David Hasselhoff made this movie. He was awesome in here. And this is one of those movies, again, where you can just put on with your friends, have a couple beers too, and just relax too. Uh, great cast in here. Lots of cool cameos. Uh, Christopher Lloyd, uh, Gary Busey, just tons of awesome people in here. And again, David Hasselhoff. Don't hassle the Hoff, baby. He was awesome in here. Hilarious. Next up is No One Lives. This is the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. And Luke Evans plays the lead in here. I thought he did a great job. And this one was awesome. This is from uh, the director of Midnight Meat Train and Versus. And it's uh, Ryuhi Katamura. Uh, he did a great job on this one. Very tense, very thrilling. I love the twist in here as well. And there's a WWE wrestler guy on here. Uh, their scene with him, uh, his name is Brodus Clay. The scene with him was just awesome. Very bloody, very gory, very tense. It basically starts out as a abduction movie, if you will. Uh, this young couple gets abducted by this gang, and things spiral out of control after that. And it seems like a revenge film, but it's got a cool twist to it, and I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, probably the best WWE released film uh, since uh, See No Evil, which those are this See No Evil and No One Lives are the best WWE releases, in my opinion. Loved it. Next up is I Spend Your Grave 2, unrated. Haven't seen it yet. Heard tons of rave reviews. Heard it's even more over the top and crazy and brutal uh, than the first remake. And it's the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. I love the I Spend Your Grave remake. I thought it was awesome. And uh, the revenge scenes seemed a little bit much in certain places. Seemed like it was going to the Saw level. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be more like that or not. It looks like she's holding uh, like a cattle prod or something right there. Going to electrocute somebody. But heard tons of great things about this, so I'm looking forward to checking this one out. And next up is the Taiwan Blu-ray release for Inside, which is one of my favorite new horror films out there. It's part of the French New Wave uh, with all kinds of great French horror movies coming out. Them, Martyrs, Inside, Frontiers. Uh, you've also got High Tension and Livid as well, which are from the directors of Inside. And the French really know how to do horror. They're killing it. And this is, again, such a bloody, awesome slasher splatter film. Uh, it's basically a home invasion movie. There's a twist to it. And there's a woman who's pregnant and she's trying to fight to survive. And there's just tons of blood. One of the bloodier films out there. And just very tense and gripping and suspenseful and gory. Tons of gore. Now I will say this release might be edited. I remember I put it in just to check out a couple scenes. And one of the scenes uh, seemed to be different than what I remembered. I do have the Dimension Extreme DVD. And I'm going to compare that because I know that is unrated. So I'm going to sit down and compare it. Uh, scene by scene to see if it is or not. I can't say for sure right now if it is or isn't edited, uh, but I know there was some good gore in here for this release anyways, but I'm happy that it does have a Blu-ray release. I'm hoping there's going to be more Blu-ray releases for it in the future that are guaranteed to be unrated, but until then, uh, I'm going to recheck this one out and watch it frame by frame uh, and make sure it is unrated. And next up is another Canadian Blu-ray release. It's for Cube, and it is a Canadian film as well, and a great sci-fi horror film. Uh, just really cool and uh, just this was a really cool unique idea as well uh, it's basically like being in the Hellraiser cube that's constantly turning uh, there's this group of people uh, wake up and they don't know how they got inside this one place and they find out they're inside this cube that's ever changing and they have to figure out a way to work together and get through the cube and get out uh, really cool and love the heck out of this movie very happy to pick up the blu-ray for it next up is creep show Great horror anthology movie, great cast. You got Leslie Nielsen and Ted Danson on the back. Let me know where your favorite segment from uh, Creep Show is. Mine is The Crate. Love that. And you've got Stephen King in here as well. Great scenes. 
classic horror anthology movie. And uh, Creepshow 2 just got a Blu-ray release as well. Got to pick that up. Next up is the unrated director's cut of Dead Girl. And I can sum this movie up as zombie rape. Two young kids right there, these two guys uh, who are high school students, they go to this abandoned building and they find this girl who's chained up. And uh, they basically, you know, find out that she's a zombie and they basically rape her. And it's basically a tale of morality. Uh, that's what it really comes down to. And I love the ending, though. And uh, it's pretty tense and uh, pretty riveting as well. I think this is a, an indie cult classic, in my opinion. A great low-budget horror movie. Uh, you know, again, the, the morality issue is something that kind of bothers... It bothered me, anyways. I think it'll kind of play up on that effect as well and uh, what happens there. And I really enjoyed the movie, though. The subject matter is definitely something that's going to be uh, highly controversial. But uh, I like the way they went about it in a very creative and unique zombie movie. And next up is Death Ship right here. And this is an 80s haunted ghost ship movie. And uh, George Kennedy and Richard Crenna are the cast right there. The best part about this movie is the cast. And, you know, you look in the back right there, you're thinking, oh, it's going to be just thrill ride. But no, it's not that way at all. Very dramatically paced. And I think it's a bit of a missed opportunity. I remember watching this when I was younger. And I had fond memories of it. It doesn't live up to my memories. And there's certain scenes that just seem out of place. They're kind of, you know, like these visions. And I'm just like, it doesn't flow with the rest of the movie and the pacing doesn't work. Could have been way better. It kind of reminds me of Triangle, uh, the movie Triangle. That is a newer movie with uh, Melissa George and that movie is excellent. I highly recommend checking out Triangle. Next up is the Merrimax multi-feature uh, four-pack right here. It's actually uh, from Dusk Till Dawn 1, 2, and 3 and then the Full Tilt Boogie. And Full Tilt Boogie is basically a documentary uh, behind the scenes of uh, From Dusk Till Dawn. And I love all of the From Dusk Till Dawn movies. Texas Blood Money, Hangman's Daughter, big fan of the series. And I hope they do more, honestly. Nice release right here from Echo Bridge Home Entertainment. Very reasonably priced as well. Next up is Hollow Man 1 and 2. Love Kevin Bacon in the first one. He plays uh, the villainous character very well. Plays a very convincing jerk. Uh, really enjoyed Hollow Man. And also Elizabeth Shoup had a big crush on her since way back in the day. Uh, Adventures of Babysitting, uh, Cocktail with Tom Cruise. Uh, big fan of hers. And now Hollow Man 2, completely the other side of the story. Hated Hollow Man 2. Uh, Christian Slater is the, you know, the build actor, the big build actor right there. But he's literally in the movie for like two minutes, if that. Because the majority of the film, uh, the guy is basically invisible. You hear his voice. And some of the parts doesn't even sound like it's actually Christian Slater's voice. I wonder if he was only available for like a couple days to do the shooting and somebody else filled in for his voice and you only see him like literally a couple minutes out of the whole film, his face. The rest of it is just him talking and, you know, the, the invisible character, uh, you know, running after people and trying to kill people and stuff like that. Uh, disappointing uh, sequel, but I love the first one. And that's from Mill Creek right there. Nice double feature, reasonably priced as well. And another uh, double feature from Mill Creek right here is Anatomy and Anatomy 2. I thought both of these were pretty enjoyable, the German films, and they follow uh, young medical students uh, going to medical school, and there's a you know rash of murders going on, and there's the secret society of the anti-Hippocratics uh, who basically kind of go against uh, you know the Hippocratic Oath. There's a tie-in there with the murders and, uh, and who's involved as well, who can you trust, who's part of the secret society, and you know you have the fight to survive and people being killed off. Uh, it's basically the same kind of concept in both movies, just different cast, uh, except the lead actress actually comes back in uh, the sequel. And I actually think I like the sequel a little bit better, but they're both very enjoyable. I uh, definitely recommend checking both of them out. Some good gore scenes here and there, and some good drama as well. So Anatomy 1 and 2 from Mill Creek. So there you go, there's my update, 29 Blu-rays right there. The biggest horror Blu-ray update on YouTube ever. If you've seen these movies, definitely let me know what you think of them. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care. Ah, ah, ah.